I have this laptop that I picked up for really cheap locally on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I have my some issue with my laptop that's being repaired. Um, so I decided to pick this up to just give me something to work on. In the meantime, I got it for, I think it was $120 Canadian, which is, I don't know, 90 American dollars, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, idea pad, there's the model number there, touch. Um, the specs looked okay online, it's a little bit older. Uh, it's an eighth gen Intel, so it's nothing, you know, hardcore. But I just wanted to use this in the meantime, but uh, this video is just basically to see how it, you know, holds up. I'm gonna open it up, look at the internals, look at like the thermal paste and stuff, and then I'm gonna test out the laptop and kind of just get an idea, you know, if you're getting a laptop that's this old, um, you know, like an eighth gen Intel, how does it hold up in 2022, 2023? Is it something you could pick up and use for, you know, day-to-day -day work? And then to very briefly test it, it does not have one finger opening. So it's an S540, um, you know, it has the, the good ThinkPad, or sorry, IdeaPad type keyboard, you know, and I'm going to be just using this for just basically day-to-day -day stuff for now. Uh, I'll be using it until my laptop, until I get my laptop repaired to get a new one. All right, and there's a look at the inside. It's not bad. I mean, there's definitely a fair bit of dust, but it's not fully blocked. I'm going to clean that though. Fans are pretty dusty. Um, he said he had opened it once because he upgraded the RAM. I believe it has 20 gigabytes. Um, so, you know, it's not going to be super high amounts of RAM, but it's... Uh, that's decent. I mean, a lot of times for this price, you're getting like four gigabytes off of a Chromebook. So, I mean, or like eight if you're lucky, but usually four. And then even locally sold ThinkPads and things like that tend to be quite a bit more um, for the spec. So I'm gonna open that up and just have a look. Okay, so here's the battery out. It's a, uh, where's the size here? 28 watt hour battery, or MAH battery. It doesn't say, oh, 45 watt hour battery right there pretty dusty like even the back side is dusty so he's definitely used this in a dusty environment uh intel or mediatek let's see can't see there i don't know what that is let's see if the camera can see it i have to look that up after um let's have a look at the ram it's funny because he said uh I added more RAM and it didn't get any faster. I don't think you realize that it's just to add more capacity when you have things open. So it's a 16 gigabyte DDR4, board four on the board, and then he added 16. So it's not gonna have a lot of dual channel memory. It's gonna be um, basically four gigs and four gigs. So I'm gonna have eight gigs of dual channel memory and the rest will be out. That's fine for what I'm paying for. It'd be better if it was eight plus you know 16 or eight plus eight, obviously. Um, um, but there you go, that's a 2240, 256, 2280 size, 256 uh, gigabytes. So, um, and I believe it's NVMe, not just M.2. I'll have to check by taking that out and I'll see if it's a, or I'll look up the serial number, but I'm not switching that anyways. But you could, I guess you could switch that out and add more. Um, there's another slot there, M2XL3. I'll have to see if that, that might be like one of those uh, WWAN WAN slots or whatever. For wireless um but it, it might actually be a secondary slot okay there's a thermal paste job it's okay um you know it's not fantastic it's pretty dried though it's like powder at this point um it's not a super old laptop but it's enough that you want to switch it you know we're probably looking at four or five years here um so you want to switch that out it's pretty dry but it's not a terrible coverage um these thermal pads are pretty slim and pretty gross um, and these are covering I guess these VR some of these VRMs these three but they're pretty pretty decrepit I might actually take those out. I don't know if I have a thermal pad that thin though those are tiny this is always fun too there's actually rust on the back of this uh, fan look at that the copper is actually uh, getting oxidated so I don't know if you had this somewhere wet but that's not good so it's a good thing I took this off I'm gonna have to actually soak that in vinegar and try to neutralize that um, but yeah that's kind of gross all right and here's a look at the laptop now that I've cleaned it um, I still need to clean a bit of the dust there but I got most of the rust off of this here I just soaked it in vinegar and it's fine now uh, and then I just cleaned everything off. Like I said, it's uh, I added the thermal pads there. I wasn't going to do it, but I, they were in such bad shape. I decided to do it. I had the right size. 
Um, they're a little overcut, but that's all I had left, so I just stuck them on there. Uh, and then this is repasted, so hopefully it gets pretty good temps. Um, that's the you know the drive that came with it, a 2280 NVMe. Um, and I actually just threw in a random 2280 that I had, and this is an active NVMe slot here. So it's a 2240 size, so it's a bit smaller, but you can put in a second drive, so that's pretty awesome. So it's been about a week of using this laptop, and uh, it's actually been really good, um, especially considering the price. Um, but after cleaning it out and you know really using it quite a bit, it's actually really good. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do you know high level 3D rendering or something that you get with like a GPU based machine, but I can even do like mild video editing in that with it. It's still an i7 8th gen, so it's still fairly competent. It's just that it's you know a little bit older. So I decided that even though the battery does last about I get about two hours out of it, which isn't terrible for, you know, such an old machine. It's like a five-year-old machine. Um, I decided to grab a battery. They were on Amazon. They were 80 bucks Canadian, 79.99 Canadian. So that's like, I don't know, 50 US dollars or something like that. Um, and the brand seemed to be, you know, fairly well rated on Amazon. Um, so I decided to get this because I'm going to be using this machine quite a bit. So uh, I actually didn't need to, you know, I, I use it plugged in quite a bit but I decided to just toss it in. So that's something else you can consider. You know, you get a really, really old machine, um, something that's, you know, reasonably functional. You may get a decent battery uh, like I did. It's not bad, uh, but you may get something that you might want to replace. So that's something you might want to factor in. Um, you, most batteries, you know, these slightly older ones, you're looking at maybe 50 bucks or 60 bucks American. Uh, so it's not really that terrible. It looks like it came about half full. And uh, Windows won't know how long this battery is going to last. It's going to think it's the old battery, to be honest. Um, so it says like one hour, 42 minutes at half, which is what this battery would do. Um, it, it doesn't realize it's a new battery, so I'll have to cycle it a few times, and then that number should go back up. But and here's just a quick look at the battery life now that I have uh, done a full cycle of it. I basically charged it up to 100%, let it die, and charged it back up. And uh, we're at 88% here, and we're at six hours basically one final update to this uh cool laptop that i have here um that's the 2280 nvme size and then there was this uh, slot here it's a 2240 which i did confirm works i just plugged in a longer nvme um just kind of held it there put the thing on and confirmed it does work uh, so it's not a wwan slot it's actually an nvme slot so i picked up this on ebay um which is a, uh, you can see there, dual, dual NVMe on it. So you can see there, um, it's not the fastest drive ever, but it's fine. It's just an OEM drive, I believe, that comes with uh, various computers. So I got the battery unhooked there. And, oh, there's actually missing a screw there. That's simple. All right, so I got a uh, little, screw that should work just fine. I believe it's actually from an NVMe connector. There we are. And there we go. So this uh, 100 dollar or so laptop has become this cost me $25 on uh, Amazon directly from Amazon actually Amazon Canada so 25 Canadian and uh, the battery was I believe 80 or so Canadian so uh, between the two it's a hundred bucks and then the laptops this is about a 200 220 dollar or so laptop and it's got 20 gigabytes of RAM two NVMe drives I could use larger ones but that's fine and you know, I could put a two terabyte in here if I wanted and the five and the two fifty six just for OS, but th this is more than enough for me. And the battery life uh, is working great. I'm getting six, eight, even nine hours off of this battery, so that's really awesome. So we'll hook up the battery there, and uh, we'll fire Windows up. I'm actually going to throw. I had Windows on this before, but I'm actually going to clear this drive out after, and I'm going to put Windows on that. All right. So now we have the system booted up, and I've installed Windows on the new drive here. That's the new one there. And uh, this is the NVMe 2280 that I have that I decided to put in there. Um, and I believe that slot accepts up to two terabytes. I, I don't think it accepts four, it may, but it definitely does accept two, I tested it. 
Um, so you could put in, um, I wouldn't get a large 2242 drive um, for this because it's just, they're kind of pricey once they get up, but I mean 20-ish or 30 bucks or whatever that was is perfect. Um, so I'm really happy with this laptop overall. You know, it's a touch screen, which isn't huge for me, but it's, you know, it's good. Touch screen, 1080p, nice and bright, really, really bright screen. Um, I have two NVMe slots in it, even though it's a 14 inch laptop, which is kind of crazy. Great keyboard, great trackpad. The processor isn't the most powerful, but it's great. It's still an eighth gen i7, more than capable I found. 20 gigabytes of uh, RAM, DDR4 RAM, so it's really, really nice. Um, I mean, for basically brand new battery included, so looking around $200 or so, and you know, I'm getting uh, tons of battery life. Um, once this is fully charged, I get six to eight hours out of it. So, I mean, you really can't beat it. A lot of people are out there buying Chromebooks and that. Um, I mean, they're great, I guess, for kids, but you there's there's a used market there. People take these laptops, they're gonna either throw them out. So, you know, a lot of times they sell them for super cheap. And, uh, you know, you can just basically pick one of these up for, you know, 100, 150 bucks, maybe even 200. I, this would be worth it, worth it at 200. Throw in the battery and you're at $300, it's still worth it. Um, so, you know, it's a really, really great machine for what it is.